What's up guys, my name is Jacob Lowe, I'm here with Grain 3 Kandamas, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to do the loop swap spike. The prerequisites for this trick are very simple, you're only going to need to know how to do a very slow one and a half swap spike, and I'm going to teach you the rest right now. So the first step for this trick is figuring out how to do a very slow one and a half swap spike from airplane. The loft in this one and a half swap will allow you more time to figure out the more technical part of the trick, the loop. So for the loop, what you're going to want to do is from airplane, you're going to want to release both pieces at the same time and pinch the string about four inches away from the tama. You want to send the tama out from the ken the similar way to how a inward whirlwind works where you send one piece out and both pieces start to rotate opposite directions. For the release, your hand's gonna glide down the string as you release both pieces, making them turn in that opposite direction with that little bit of push that you give the tama. Except you don't want too much because you want that ken to rotate really slowly, giving you the most time. So if you're having any problems on that initial release and pinch, I really use my thumb to pinch against the knuckle of my index finger. It gives me the most like secure, tight pinch I do this for all my loop tricks, whether it's from Goon or from Airplane or from any other position. This right here is the most secure pinch that won't slide. So for the loop portion of this trick, you're actually gonna do a single loop. You're shooting it out, swinging it around once and then throwing it straight up. So you can focus on the loop portion first, starting with the tom in one hand and basically just shooting it out, pinching it and getting a nice clean earth turn on the way up. So it's gonna do one complete loop and then do about three quarters of another loop. Once you have that nice clean loop around motion down, then you can focus on putting together that first part of the release with that loop. While the tom is looping, the Ken's gonna be doing a really slow one and a half swap spike. This is where that one and a half loft really comes in. Because the, the slower and higher your rotation is, the more time you have to really focus on getting that loop correct. For the loop release, you're gonna to wanna to release it slightly above a horizontal axis, giving it that little push so it rotates and finishes with the momentum that you give it. So that when you catch the Ken off that one and a half swap, it's really easy to track and get that pin. So what I try to do is match the speed of the loop with the rotation of the Ken so that you can spike it at the same time and both pieces align so that it's really easy to get that final spike. So this is what it looks like when you put all the pieces together. I tend to release my loop as soon as I see that Ken coming down from that final half rotation into Ken grip. As soon as I see it sort of falling down in that direction, that's like the perfect time to release the Tama giving you enough time to switch back to Ken grip and get that spike. Another key part of this trick is making sure that you send that tom out without any rotation or else if you spin it or have any type of external force acting on the tama, when you throw it up, it's gonna cork out and make that earth turn a lot harder to track. As I said earlier, the ideal version of this trick, the tama only rotates once on the way up. Obviously, like any other Kanama trick, it's always gonna act a little differently. So even if it does do an extra rotation, it's fine. You only have a few more problems when it comes to tracking the tom on that spike. Don't be afraid to use your knees a lot when first trying this trick. The lower you go down and higher you go up, the more time you have to figure out all the technical aspects of this trick. So that's about it for the loop swap spike. This is one of my favorite tricks and I hope you guys have a blast learning it. Once again, I'm Jacob Lowe with Grain Theory and I hope you guys found this tutorial what up everybody thanks for checking out that video if you like what you just watched make sure you go and hit that subscribe button and make sure you go punch that shop button and get yourself a new dama we have tons of other videos for you to watch so make sure you go check them out see you next time